Today we're going to talk about two different Z-Man baits and two different rigging strategies for each one. First, the paddlers, and second, the minnows. Now the paddlers came on the market just this past year, and it's been a fantastic bait. One of the things I like about the paddlers bait is that it's a segmented bait which gives the bait an exaggerated action. Even when it's almost at rest, the tail is moving back and forth. Oftentimes with the paddlers, I'll rig it on a jig head. But when you're in a weedy environment, a great tip is to rig it on a weighted rigging hook, just as, as I have here. This is a four-aught rigging hook. You're gonna take the point of the hook and you're gonna drive it right down the center of the bait. Then you're gonna feed it through about a eh, three-eighths of an inch. That's what I like to do, right through the bottom of the chin. Now, because the Elaztec material has memory, you're able to slide it over this leaded part of the hook, the weighted part of the hook. So I'm gonna slide it over the top of the hook. I'm gonna rotate the head of the bait so it slides over the eye of the hook and over the knot. This is gonna keep the bait in place. Take it to the point of the hook, put it right through the back of the bait, through the belly and out the back of the bait, and it's gonna rest just like so and be completely weedless. So you can fish it like a jerk bait, twitch, 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 but the tail swims madly, drives fish nuts. Now the jig heads are very unique that the Z-Man fishing products have out right now. They have a small barb just above the hook shank. That holds the Elaztec material on. In the past, we've always used a super glue material to, to keep the, the Elaztec material on the jig head. Again, when we're rigging our Elaztec material, just as we did with the paddlers, we've got to go right through the center of the bait with the hook point. And what I like to do is I like to, to move it up the hook shank in a nice smooth motion and I feed it out the back so it's about oh a good third of the way down the body. Now you've got to take a little care here because you've got this secondary barb that's above this hook shank. What I do is I pull the material back just a little bit so that it'll stab into the meat of the meat of the material and I slide it down. Just take a little care as you put it on. I push it all the way up against the jig head just like so. You'll notice when I hold it this way that the hook point comes right out those two fins in the back. That lines you up perfectly. This bait's perfectly straight. And when I grab the tail of the bait, it stays on without the help of super glue. Cast after cast, fish after fish, it does not pull off the, off the jig heads. When I'm fishing my minnows on a jig heads, what I like to do is I like to use a loop knot. Start with an overhand, just like so. You come through the circle and then size it up. What I like to do is I like to make it about the size of a pencil eraser. You take the tag in and slide it through the eye of your jig heads and then you take your tag in and you come back through that overhand that you made so small so that it looks just like that. You've got a, a long tag and you've got a circle. All you've got to do now is pull it down a little bit just to size it and go around your standing line one time and tuck it under. You're not going to go through the circle, just tuck it directly under the line and come through the little cross right here and you're going to tighten it down. got a nice little loop knot with a tag. I'm going to cut that tag so that I only leave about a quarter inch tag. This loop knot allows it, this minnows bait to have a lot of action. You can work this bait like you would a, a bait fish if you're just swimming a jig. You can hop it up and down like a shrimp. It'll allow you to do an awful lot when you rig a loop knot on your minnows jig head. The minnows and the paddlers are so versatile for flounder, redfish, trout. You can jig them, you can swim them, you can drag them. I'm telling you, you've got to give the minnows and the paddlers a try. I think your results will be similar to mine.